You're never going to believe why I'm on this mountain overlooking Collingford in County Live. And come to think of it, I find it hard to believe myself because I'm told that on this mountain, the little people really exist. In fact, this man, Kevin Woods, who's the chairman of the Collingford Tourism Association, firmly believes that there are little people in these mountains, so much so that he's having a leprechaun hunt on Easter Sunday. But before we talk to him, let's meet the man who claims to have met the people who have met the fairies. That man is PJ O'Hare, a Carlingford publican who has in his possession the clothes of a leprechaun, which he said he found last December while working on Schlieffoy Mountain overlooking the village. Well, this is a small case, just a, a suitable case for showing off what we found on the mountain that morning. The reason I was up at that hour was purely commercial. There was an American walker on the mountain and he saw a little garden and he wanted to buy it as a prospective building site. I couldn't locate the garden from down here, so I went up to look for it. And uh, on my way up, I heard these cries, and then I met Brendan McKevitt, the local school teacher, who was out jogging. And I asked Brendan to hear the cries, and he said he did faintly. So I went along with him, and when we went over to a place called the Wishing Well, or Ginkle's Well, called after one of the commanders of the Williamite Army, they, on the ground, we found these three pieces, the hat and the tunic and the trousers, just scattered as if they'd been discarded suddenly and haphazardly, and they were slightly covered with a sort of a, a grey soil or, or ashes, really. We've had to, we had to clean them since, and beside them were the bones. So we just gathered everything up, and part of the ground was burned as well. I also meant to tell you that there were coins with with the suit. There were coins lying on the ground, four coins, which Brendan sent off to Dublin. And uh, we haven't had a chance now to have had a complete uh, exhaustive inquiry into the clothes or the coins, but the contact Brendan has with this authority, this Professor Moore or Mr. Moore, is that the story has happened in other parts of Ireland where a leprechaun has been attacked by a demon who is challenging his uh, ownership of the property, and uh, the leprechaun then can throw off his clothes, and if you ever saw the film The Incredible Hulk, he can expand himself into a figure. Now, as big possibly as a sheep or a ram standing on his hind legs, or a greyhound standing on his hind legs. Can we have a closer look at these clothes? Can you take them out of oh, that yeah. case? Let's have a look at the hat first of all. That's the little hat now, and uh, the jacket. And if we try to hold them together, allowing room for his head, and then his... Uh, I don't know how he kept his trousers up, but uh, he didn't leave his shoes. Now, Kevin, you look like a sensible man. I Do am you a really man, believe Robin, yeah. in leprechauns? Yes. I believe that PJ has found a suit and bones and sovereigns on the mountain, and I believe some of the stories that I've heard about leprechauns. Um, I suppose it's easier, Ronan, to say that I don't believe or disbelieve. I simply believe what I have seen on this occasion, yes. Yeah. Could there be lots of fun on Easter Sunday here? It should be a fabulous, uh, it should be a fabulous family day. What if they find the real McCoy? Well, this is a bonus from our point of view. We didn't want to say an awful lot about that, but we hope that with the sort of crowd that we would have on the mountain, that various artifacts would be would be picked up and uh, that would provide even more evidence and would substantiate PJ's story. Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go a-hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together, green jacket, red cap and white isle's feather. Well, I don't know what you think, but I really do believe that the little people exist on this mountain behind me. And I, for one, will be here on Easter Sunday to see if I can find a leprechaun. Top of the morning.